Hi, I'm Tree, and this is Stitchless TV. Now, today on Stitchless TV, I thought I'd show you and talk about some of the swimsuits that I've been making recently. Now, I've been finding that, I don't know, is it because I'm getting older? I can't handle wearing bikinis quite so much, even though I hoist them up above my tummy. So what I did was, um, I made a pattern using the bottom half of my bikini and the top half of my bikini, and then measuring the distance in between, and then doing this. Look, I think it's quite good. So this swimming costume, or swimsuit, is actually reversible, look. So there's a pink side and a green side. And the way that I did this one was with ties on the side, and then ties that came down, and then a tie at the back, and I did it so that, um, so it's completely bagged out and all of the stretch elastic is on the inside. Now I tested this out in the shower <laughs> um, and it was fine. I couldn't see any sort of see-through bits or anything. So the nice effect of making it with another fabric on the other side, like that, is because it peeps. Look, you get like a piped kind of effect and I kind of like that. Look. So that looks sort of nice. So I made this swimsuit on my Janome overlocker, but I then made this one, which is, I think it's quite nice. <gasps> look at that. That is quite nice, isn't it? Do you want to have a closer look at that one? So this is using the same pattern that I made using that original bikini and I made it on this um, Janome sewing machine. Now what I did was, <laughs> it's really nice isn't it? Do you want to see the back? It's a single layer, very thick lycra that they use for leggings and then I used this folded stretch edging stuff. Now what's it called? It's called fold over elastic if you want to look it up. Now usually the right side of it is really shiny so I've used the matte side. Do you want to see that? I'll show you. It's fold over elastic and they usually use it for um, underwear I think. Now on this side I don't know I felt it looked a bit cheaper but if you fold it the opposite way, on the, the mat side, it has a kind of grow grain effect on it and a nice little edge and, and I think that looks much nicer. Now for my frills, <laughs> I did another weird thing. So I washed this polyester satin fabric and again I thought the satin side looked a bit cheaper and I wanted it to look a bit more like taffeta. So I made this gabbard frill by using the wrong side. So that's how I got this effect. So this is exactly the same technique but I used the sewing machine, a huge zigzag stitch and I grabbed all the edges with that folded fold over elastic. Now for here I trapped the, um, the gathered frill. I've also put one of those nappy bits in there. And then if you look at the front, so I've taken the elastic all the way around the, the side bits. And I continued the frill and insert, yeah, I've done quite a lot really. Um, I inserted a seam here so that I could um, continue the frill down there. I do think it looks really nice, but I'm not trying it on for you. 
I might put it on the dummy though. So I'll put the frill in this upper bit as well. This is it inserted in that seam that I created down there. And then I continued it so it went all the way around the back. Around and around and around. And then returned down there. I think this stuff looks quite effective. I'm not sure which was easier though. In a way, the bagging out and putting all your seams inside was easier. Oh yeah, have a look at the back. So the back looks nice. So it's like a compromise between a bikini and um, a swimming costume and it does look kind of good on. No, it does look good on, but I'm not showing you. So I am thinking of doing a tutorial uh, on how I did this one because I think this is really effective but I don't know about doing it all on the overlocker I was thinking of doing it with a zigzag stitch on the sewing machine but just like this so it's reversible so look that's the pink side and the green side Right, I know this is black fabric, but it'll be all right in a minute. <laughs> so, you see that sewing foot? It's just a regular sewing foot, isn't it? Okay, but if I thread my elastic, in fact, I can just pass it through. If I pass my elastic through there, it's almost like one of those special elastic feeder feet. So let's see how much control I have. Now you must admit, that is genius. Anyway, you comment below <laughs> if you want me to show you a tutorial on how to do this sort of reversible swimsuit. Now we have actually got a tutorial on how to make a swimsuit using twin needle and how to make a very nice bikini and how to do the stretch spaghetti straps. I'll put a link in the description below. But tell me, do you want a tutorial? Thank you. See you again very soon. Bye.